Now, the University of Houston downtown may not have a football team headed for the Big 12, but they offer 44 degrees, nine master's degrees, one of four main campuses of the University of Houston system. And since 1974, it's been an established part of downtown. And until this year, it had only six presidents during that time. Dr. Lauren Blanchard is the seventh president and took that spot this year. I will tell you that this is the first of what I hope will be frequent visits to Houston newsmakers. Good morning, Dr. Blanchard. Good, good to see morning, you. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me here this morning. I'm glad you could be here. Tell me about this. What was uh, attractive to you about the University of Houston downtown, and what are your priorities there right now? Well, there are many elements that attracted me here. Let's start with the fact that I, my roots are southern uh, through and through, and so it was an opportunity to return back to the south. I grew up in Louisiana. As a matter of fact, not too far away from here, Lake Charles, Louisiana, so spent quite a bit of time here in Houston, certainly as, va as a vacationer, but that more importantly, uh, that we spent a lot of family time here in mm -hmm. Houston. Uh, secondly, what drew me is obviously the city itself, right? You know, in terms of the rich culture, the diversity, uh, and then most importantly, what drew me is really the population of students that we have the unique pleasure of serving at the University of Houston downtown. As you know, we're the most diverse uh, mm -hmm. university mm -hmm. in the South, uh, and as a result of that, it really provides the opportunity to ensure sure that these young people, many who are first generation and certainly adult learners as well, have the best opportunity imaginable to get the highest quality educational experience at the University of Houston downtown. You said diverse and that's a, a big not lost on me is that when you and Chancellor Renu Couture and UH Clear Lake President Ira Blake and Robert Glenn President UH Victoria get together, it is a snapshot of diversity, is it not? And that's kind of a reflection of this community in a big way. It is, it is. And, and not only that, it's also the fact of the opportunity to not just be diverse, but to be as inclusive as possible, right? There's one thing to be diverse, but mm -hmm. it's a totally different thing to make sure that the individuals, especially the students, but also the faculty and staff know that they belong, know that they they are valued, and know that they are supported. Uh, and that's what the, the larger University of Houston, that's one of the hallmarks of what we do. Because you're, quote, not the big boys of the U8 system, I, I know you're the Gators and they're the Cougars, that sort of thing. Well, does it, that pose a different kind of challenge because you're in the same system, but not really? Uh, no, I mean, certainly I've worked for a number of systems before. As a matter of fact, I just came from the California State University system, where it's 23 universities. Mm. But, you know, where we're bound is in our mission, right? You know, so we have common missions, which really allows us to, the flexibility uh, to be able to get our work done, but that more importantly, that we've got a North Star um, and that we really are paying very close attention to what it means uh, and the value that our educational experience actually has on the community at large. Everybody in the college level, are, they're dealing with COVID. Yes. Uh, and y you are no different, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Talk about, if you will, the big challenges that you may be having now uh, on um, your campus. How are you being impacted? What kinds of safeguards do you have in place at UHD uh, to deal with what is still an ongoing pandemic? Absolutely. And the biggest challenge, as you can imagine, is keeping everyone safe, right? Um, and so we have begun the semester, the fall semester, with a soft start, uh, meaning that we are ensuring that we're uh, keeping our community as safe as possible by not bringing back as many people as we typically would for our university. As you know, that we're 15,300 students strong. Uh, so that's a fairly large uh, or moderate sized campus. Uh, and so with that, we want to make sure that we have just enough people there to make sure that we can engage in social distancing, mm -hmm. uh, that all of our students and faculty are highly encouraged to mask, uh, but that more importantly, that all of the other protective gear as well as uh, safety and health measures are being followed as closely as possible. So that really is, and let me just also mention quickly that what we have done is also provided the opportunity for uh, vaccinations to occur right on campus. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're doing that now on a monthly basis for any of our community members. What I also love is that it provides opportunities for our community members to bring their family members as well, who are obviously age appropriate. The last thing I'll say is that we've also uh, been able to set up a testing kiosk okay. uh, that is heavily used and that we encourage uh, not only people within the university community, but since we're right in the heart of the downtown area, we've invited also our partners our, our downtown partners to take advantage of it as well. 
Give me, since you're there within your first year there, there's a five-year plan in place, I'm guessing. Uh, give me the Cliff Notes version of the, kind of the high points that you have in place for the five-year program there. I will, and you know, we are in the process of developing and shaping that five to 10-year plan. Okay. Uh, as it relates to our strategies that we will actually implement. Uh, but I can give you a snapshot of what we've been talking about thus far as the university community. Uh, number one is really a continued focus on student success mm -hmm. uh, and making sure that we deliver on the fact that if we found you qualified enough to enter our university, then we have a collective responsibility to know that you will earn a degree, uh, and that you'll have the knowledge, skills, and dispositions that will empower you for readiness for the workforce, or graduate or professional school, and that you'll become leaders in your communities and leaders in your fields. Hmm. That's number one. Secondly, is a commitment to the welfare and the professional development of our faculty and staff. Just hiring faculty and staff doesn't mean that we are investing in their success. Uh, and so a lot of our time will be spent on finding ways that we can continue to ensure that our faculty are reaching their respective goals mm -hmm. and our staff members um, and that we're doing that very strategically and intentionally. Uh, a third one is really looking very carefully at our overall infrastructure. There are so many different ways that of course being right in the heart of downtown we have so, such close boundaries that it's hard to grow out mm -hmm. right um, but certainly we're finding ways that we can acquire not only more land but um, making sure that we've got critical buildings uh, that provide services to students, one that comes to mind right off the cuff, uh, is making sure that we're able to um, develop a, a, stu a student union for our students, which becomes really important. Let me mention one last thing, and that is the fact that we also are working very diligently, excuse me, very diligently uh, to ensure that we maintain ourselves as an anchor university within the city of Houston. And so what I mean by that is that we don't want to just be a place where we're hosting events, but that we're right in the heart, in the middle of making sure that all of those perhaps social issues and economic issues and all of those things that center around justice for the people of Houston, mm -hmm. that we're right in the heart of making sure that we're able to improve life conditions for our people here in Houston. Yeah, there you have a lot going on, uh, a lot of focus on those kind of things. I, I'm excited to see how they come together. Thank you for being here to talk about that. Maybe people haven't known about all these things, but uh, thank you so much and uh, continued success as you push forward. Thank you.